We'll get him next time. Yeah, right. Hey, you played well. Uh-huh. Hey, you guys, hey, hey, the reporters are coming in, and there's another female reporter this week. And hey, whoa, whoa, but the coach says he doesn't want any more incidents like last week, yeah, so you guys right, have to yeah, cool yeah, it. Right. Cut it out. Excuse me, excuse me, Joe. Joe. Yeah. Hey, this has got to be a tough loss for you and the guys. Yeah, it's it's tough. It's tough. Still, now, I couldn't help but notice that today, well, you, your passes, they, they seemed a little, uh... Well, little, little passes. What do you mean? Well, they looked a little short to me. I haven't had any complaints before. Still, you have to admit, it would be nice if they were longer. But there's nothing wrong with my passes. Besides, I think if you check it out, you'll find out they're quite a bit longer than average, actually. Oh, well, certainly, they're adequate, but... Let's face it, you're no Boomer Esiason. Oh, and what do you know about Boomer Esiason? Hey, you're not the first quarterback I've ever interviewed. What are you telling me? Well, Boomer has a really big pass. <laughs> you can feel the power. Yeah, well, my passes are plenty powerful, too, sister. Well, on a good day, I'd say that was true. But today, well, you were releasing early. Those passes fell short. I was disappointed. It was cold out there. Besides, it's not the length of a pass. It's whether you complete it or not that counts. Oh, God. I've heard this before. <laughs> Look, it is so easy for you to criticize because all you have to do is sit there. I'm the one that's got to perform. Hey, don't do me any favors, OK? Joe. Yeah. Tough game today. Yeah, tough one, Lou. Short passes, though. Yeah, right. This is a test of the almost live announcer. This is only a test. <laughs> the ragged rascal ran around the rugged rock. <laughs> this concludes this test of the almost live announcer. And now, here he is. John, 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 John. Keister. Thank you so much. Oh no. oh, no. Well. Well, well, well. You know, the big news story, of course, this week, the Muckleteo teacher strike ended. And you know, this was the longest teacher strike in the nation. All right. We're number one. Yeah. That's all right. And of course, at times it got pretty ugly. There was quite a scene when the teachers returned the administration's proposal because the administrators had forgotten to put their name on the top. You know, <laughs> spokesperson for the teacher said, what, it could have been anybody. So we're we supposed to be psychic, you do it over. But, you know, now that the strike is over, and in the end, I th it was worth it for the teachers. And we know because we've managed to obtain a list of some of the things that they won in the agreement. Among them, gas money to get them to their second jobs. <laughs> the right to spank any student who laughs at the teacher's Chevrolet citation. <laughs> A lifetime clothing discount at Mervyn's. <laughs> Front yard tire track insurance. First dibs on leftover macaroons from Home Ec. <laughs> and finally, a guarantee that their wages will be matched by any increase McDonald's gives to its employees. <laughs> okay. So, I think it was. Good luck for the, uh, for the teachers. Good luck for the students who will be going, I guess, to school up until July 4th. Congratulations, all you students. <laughs> and we're glad that the students can finally return to school where they can learn to be good citizens, citizens who always mind their manners. It's time for Mind Your Manners with Billy Kwan. Today's episode, Tools of Fury. <laughs> oh, here it is. Oh, that's far too expensive. Well, make a little here. Yes, that's more like it. 
You, Mr. Bargain Shepherd, you need to brush up on your manners. Do I need to brush, huh? Well, why don't you brush up on these? Shopper, or Billy will give you the plunger. Remember, kids, be like Billy. Behave yourself. Okay, behave yourself, and we'll be right back. We've got a great show. Stay with us. Something that I like is uh, I have to go the girl. I just don't know what the problem is. I, you know, Bob and I have fun together, but he won't make a commitment. How long have you two been going out? <sighs> Three years. I feel like I'm throwing my life away. I know just what you mean. I used to go from one meaningless relationship to another, each one taking years out of my life. Then I got smart. I bought the one-minute relationship. It boils all the important stages of your relationship down to seconds rather than months so that you can get on with your life. That sounds great. I think I'll give it a try. Excuse me. You think this avocado is ripe enough to make guacamole? God, you just make me laugh all the time. <laughs> I got you something. Stop! You are so cute. I just can't stop thinking about you. Pumpkinhead. Can't you call in sick today? Don't start in on that again, okay? Well, if you love me so much, why do you find it so difficult just to say it once in a while? Whoa, 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 whoa. slow down. I, I need some space here. Can you for once think about someone other than yourself? What's happened with us? I, we used to have fun. Sometimes, I feel like I don't know you anymore. I am so tired of just bitch, bitch, bitch all the time. You know I still care, but I have a career to think about. I think it's just not working between us. I hope we can still be friends. I'll, I'll call you. Take care. Thanks. One minute relationship. It's time for Working Out with the Cooking Psychologist. And now, here's your host, Dr. Art Legelman. Welcome to Working Out with the Cooking Psychologist. I'm Dr. Art Flegelman, and we've got a great show for you. Today, we'll be teach you how to make a terrific omelet, we'll work on our upper body and our aerobic capacity, and we'll resolve a personal crisis that's been haunting a man for years. So, let's get right to it. Remember, when working with dumbbells or other weights, keep your back straight and work each arm evenly. Ready? Yes, go, go, okay. Today's guest has been with us before, and he's plagued by flashbacks and his mother's own insecurities, which she transferred onto him. Please welcome Jack Martin. Hi, Jack. Hi, Doctor. You all warmed up? I am, yeah. Let's get you started. How about uh, a double set of 12 reps? There you go. Let's see some good extension through those elbows. Now, Jack, tell me how you're feeling about your mother's behavior. Well, I'm actually feeling pretty good. I don't blame her anymore. But, you know, I felt my brother needs to take more responsibility. He's the one at the very heart of this whole problem. No, I don't think it's appropriate to place all the blame on him. It could just be a nutritional problem, Jack. What? Let's go over to the kitchen area. Okay, today we're going to make a super, super omelet. All you need is a couple of eggs, crack them into the bowl there, a dollop of milk, and now whisk, whisk. Now, when whisking, there's no need to separate the yolks, really. Uh, when whisking, 
try to keep a supple wrist. We're not playing tennis here. We don't want a stiff wrist. Make it burn, this long muscle that runs into your elbow. Terrific thing. Now, <clears throat> Jack, while I'm uh, slicing the brie here, why don't you tell us a little bit more about your relationship to your brother? Well, uh, he always beat me. But, you know, that's not really the real problem. The real problem was... Garlic. Garlic, what? Jack. That's the thing. You see, people go to add garlic to an omelet. They put in a little too much, just a pinch of freshly chopped garlic. That's all you need, really. Doesn't that look delicious? Yeah. I'll tell you what, Jack. Keep it going. Come on. Keep it going. That's what you're feeling good? You feeling good? Yeah. All right. Tell you what. Head over to the Stairmaster. Let's work on those quads. Okay, while you're doing that, I think this would be a real good time to take a look at today's tip for a tip-top you. For severe depression, try sit-ups and nutmeg. <laughs> Go on, Jack. OK, well, my mother thought that my brother was some kind of a golden boy. Uh huh. He's the one who got all the attention in the family. I never got a chance okay, to Whoa, 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 whoa. Jack, Jack, Jack. Don't ever let the pedals hit the floor. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> want to keep a nice, even stride there. Oh, okay. You starting to feel it? Get it yeah. going. Yeah. Get it going. You yeah. feel it? Yeah. You feeling it? Yeah. Burn? All right, I got to work on the omelet. OK. Oh, let's take a look. Doesn't this just look terrific? Now, this is the part where I like to add a little Tabasco. But before I do, tell you what, Jack, why don't you step off the Stairmaster and get onto the exercise cycle. Work on those calves a little bit. Yeah, now just uh, a few, bra uh, few uh, asparagus, a little brie, and a hint of Tabasco. Just a splash. This will give it the tang that your family is guaranteed to love, I'll tell you. All right. <laughs> Jack, while this is cooking away, tell you what, I think it might be time to check your heart rate. Now, can you separate your brother's behavior from your perception of those feelings? Uh, I don't know. I, I just think I need to confront him about that one time in the garage. Hold that We're thought, Jack. In the garage. That's great. Keep it going. Keep it going. Hold that thought. I'm going to check the omelet. Oh, boy. It's looking <laughs> terrific. Now, when you go to fold the omelet, try to do it in one motion. One motion. There. You see, isn't that nice? Now, this is looking just terrific, just terrific. Your family's going to love it, Jack. Doesn't that look good? Uh, yeah, oh, it looks good. great. Thanks for sharing with us today, Jack. On our next show, that's all the time we have, I'm sorry, some lat work, crab Louie, and a woman unsure of her own sexuality. Till next time, I'm Dr. Art Flegelman. Bye-bye. <laughs> Keep it going. Keep it going. Studio amplification for Almost Live provided by American Music. take all of our money out of savings and sell all of our stuff. Why? Well, this voice told me to build this thing. Okay, honey. stupid-looking things. <laughs> what a bunch of suckers. <laughs> get up, get on up. Get up, get on up. Stay on the scene. Get on up like a sex machine.
Good evening and welcome to the John Report. I'm John, here's my report. As part of cuts in the federal budget, over 8,000 jobs will be eliminated at the Fort Lewis Army Base by the year 1992. A mini recession is expected as the bottom falls out of the Playboy air freshener market. <laughs> King County has added $15 to the auto registration fee. Officials say the money will be used to repair all damage to roadways caused by Sonic Guard Dale Ellis. <laughs> After the drunk driving conviction of Dale Ellis, it was revealed that when police asked, asked Ellis for his driver's license, he gave them his visa card. It turns out that that was over the limit, too. <laughs> Seattle was named the best place to establish a major business in a poll of top CEOs. The city of SeaTac was named the best city to start a massage parlor or a dating <laughs> service. <laughs> SeaTac Airport has spread its flight paths over more neighborhoods in order to relieve congestion. While some communities have objected, residents of Burien say they've noticed no change in the quality of life. <laughs> A windstorm hit the Puget Sound area on Wednesday with gusts strong enough to topple large trees and even make Como anchorman Dan Lewis recomb his hair. <laughs> The University of Washington opens it, opened its newest branch campus this week in Tacoma. Popular classes include A Brief History of Fife, <laughs> Recurring Themes in Penthouse and Hustler, and Influence of the U.S. Military on Local Liquor Sales. <laughs> Finally, a poll by Working Mother magazine listed the top 75 companies for working mothers did not name a single Northwest employer. However, Microsoft of Redmond finished in the top 10 of a similar poll in Working Geek magazine. <laughs> this has been the John Report. Thank you. And good night. Seattle's heavy metal community. Lame. Speedometers that only go up to 80. Lame. <laughs> lame. Very lame. Double lame, triple lame. Running out of top ramen. Lameish. Designated drivers. <laughs> <laughs> Friends who pay you back with a check. Oh, lame. lame. Prince's mustache. That's very lame. Very lame. 7 Elevens without porno magazines. Lame. Very lame. Lame. Well, that's, that's about all the time we've got tonight. I want you to join us next week because comedian Jake Johansson is going to be here. And you can also see Jake all next week at Swanee's Comedy Underground. And you know, if you would like to be in our studio, studio audience, it's fun to be in our studio audience. Wouldn't you agree? Thank you. Thank you for that spontaneous reaction. What a nice spontaneous reaction. Just call us at 448-3795. And you know that tonight, some of our audience members are going to be getting free tickets to the Fifth Avenue Theater's production of The Desert Song. So you see there's, there's free stuff involved. Just give us a call, and we'll see you next week. And, and see Jake, too. Bye-bye. <laughs> Promotional consideration for Almost Live provided by Pizzeria Pagliacci, featuring traditional and gourmet pizza by the slice. Pizzeria Pagliacci, rated Seattle's best pizza. Promotional consideration also provided by your local Coca-Cola bottlers.